So here I am with two first projects that we made, the small ones. These are the magnets. This one here is the canvas. And it was actually a little canvas. I'll show you the back. And we put two magnets on it. I put them pretty strong magnets so they would hold and not fall off. And I did go ahead and leave the jute hanger on it. So if you want to hang it on the wall, you can hang it on the wall. Hello everybody. Been working a little bit on our fall small items here. We're going to do a fall scene on this little block of wood. If you remember, it started out just like this one. I put a whitewash on it of thin down paint. I used the self-made graphite uh, paper and wrote fall on it. And we're going to also put harvest on that one. But first, I'm going to work on painting a few small things here for our little um, pictures here that are going to be like little magnets or you could put them on a shelf if you want. I'm going to put a magnet on the back of mine. So I put some paint already on my palette. I'm going to put a little bit more gold on here. I like a little bit of gold to give it sparkle. Give it some pizzazz. And so I wet my brush a little bit. Kind of get the excess water out of it. And then take a little bit of that gold. Kind of dry your brush out just a little. You don't want it real thick. And then we'll just kind of swipe it on these leaves. I saved these leaves off of <laughs> this. I had used this for some other project and had the leaves left over. So we are going to use those in our little project here. It'll be perfect. I think I have some more leaves up here. I have a little bit lighter green. Let's put some a little bit of gold on that. It just gives it a little highlight and makes it brighter. I like brighter things. If it's too much, you can always take a little bit of brown and put over it if you don't like it. Or you can use whatever color you like. If you want to use the orange, make orange out of red and yellow, you can do that. So I'm going to let these things dry. I did put a little bit of gold on the acorn. Just kind of swipe it a little bit. I am going to put a little bit on this part of a pine cone. I had cut the pine cone um, with a snippers and the whole pine cone was just a little bit too big. So if I cut them, and I will show you how to do that in another video, it's not hard, but it's a little messy. I'm going to put all these things over here, let them dry. I'm going to put just a just a touch of gold on the stem. You can leave every one of these natural if you desire. I'm going to do one with the more gold accent and the other one is going to be more natural. So that way we can kind of see a difference in the two different styles. Um, I think I'm going to paint a little another some more gold on this acorn. And uh, then we'll let them dry. I'm getting gold on my fingers, but that's okay. <laughs> gold is good. I didn't paint this other leaf enough. It kind of soaked it in. Some of the sometimes the leaves soak all the paint in, and if you look at it, it looks like you didn't do anything. So um, I think that's all I want to do of that. I do have a little gumball here. And I'm going to put just a little bit of gold to sparkle that up. We may use that or we may not. I don't know. It's one of those things we're going to lay it out on there and see if it looks good. Um, clean my brush out. I'm getting a little bit too much paint on it. 
it starts to get dried out a little I use a wash rag to wipe it off there and get the excess water off of it here's another leaf well I put a little bit of gold on this one too <laughs> There we go. And I always clean my brush out after every time I use it. It's just better on your brush. And then when you grab it, you don't have a dried up brush that you can't use. All right. So we're going to set these to the side, let them dry. So let's start, um, let's see, maybe start with this one. And this is a piece of cardboard. It used to be part of a pizza box, I think. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I put dark brown on the bottom, you know, first, first layer. Then I took some of the off-white, put a little bit of that while the brown was wet, and it kind of mixed with it. And I got it just kind of a antique-looking color. To me, it looks antique. -y. Okay, what I want to do... I just want to kind of make a fall scene and actually I had tried to do some coffee stain that's what this cup is it's coffee instant coffee I diluted in water this is not my drink it's just coffee and I actually in this little bit of water it's about a fourth of a cup or so I probably put two teaspoons full of of instant coffee you can make it as dark or as light as you want so I took and made a few of these paper I just put took random paper that I had some of these were envelopes uh, some of it was like this was a, a bag from something probably a pharmacy bag <laughs> from the pharmacy and you can see where the the stain gives it a burnt edge on some of it. So the darker that you make, or the stronger that you make your instant coffee, the darker this is going to be. And my thought was just to kind of add some of that in there. And I did some with words. This one says farm fresh eggs. It's too big for my little project. So let's, let me look at my little magic envelope here, see if I have anything that would work. Um, this is kind of cute. It's just, I made all kinds of words. And what I did on this one, I used a very thin Sharpie. And you can see the word dream. On this, I used a heavier Sharpie type pen. It's a permanent marker. And um, just wrote the word yes. If you don't feel that your handwriting is good, you could also use one of these stencils and make the lettering with that or even the little stencils and make the lettering with that I made some music notes it probably wouldn't apply with this what we're doing today but maybe dream that might be you might be dreaming of fall or dreaming of Christmas who knows I made a bunch of them here um, I did these last night and let them dry. Some of them stuck together, so that, that's a warning. And I'll show you later how to do this. Um, but some of them overlapped, and they actually stuck together and tore. Like this one, <laughs> it says eggs. Well, it's got stars on it because that little piece of paper stuck to it. But it looks kind of cute, so I left it that way. Now this one says farm fresh. That kind of uh, kind of might go in with what we're trying to do here. I'm just trying to get a fall and farmhouse look. So if I'm not doing a farmhouse look like you would like, you can use your imagination. You can also print things off of the internet I know they have printables some of them are free some of them you pay for to get the little printables print it out on your computer printer and voila there you have it you don't have to write your own lettering I just enjoyed trying this I had never tried it before so it was interesting 
So let, I'm going to put Farm Fresh there, and Acorn, and maybe this little part, little part of a pine cone there. This one I kind of want to keep simple. I might switch that up a little bit. I have another acorn here that does not have I had it left over from another project it doesn't have a hat I call this little part the hat of the acorn and just so you know that hat can come off so when I use the glue I make sure that I run a little bit of glue on the back side right where that hat meets the acorn right in there and that way it'll hold the hat on. You don't want it falling off uh, when you get your project done. So we're going to put this grandpappy acorn. Put some glue on it. Put enough on there because this is a little bit of a heavy acorn. And I've got the glue on the hat at the connection there. There we go. All right. And I'm trying to decide, do I want it there? I kind of like it on the outside better. And you can choose wherever you like it. Oh, I just knocked something off. I'm always knocking things off. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, that fits perfect right there. And I put glue on both of the bottom. I'm not sure what you call these. They're the little edges of the pine cone. So here we go. This we're going to leave alone for a little bit. Let that glue dry completely. I'm going to set it to the side. And this canvas, we could either use it this way or we could use it this way. I don't know that I'm going to put wording on this one. Um, I have one that says family. It's a little bit different coloring. I don't know. What do you think? I kind of like it where it, that it says family. And this is a little something that you could give as a gift to someone if you wanted to. Just let them know that you're thinking about them. So I thought maybe we could use one of these leaves. We have several over here that are now dry. Maybe we could put put the leaves down first. We'd have to glue them down. They're kind of curly. So you might even want to use the back of the leaf. So that way it, it stays down. And kind of overlap it. Oh, looky here. I think I'm kind of liking this. I'm going to show you here. All right, our little projects are dry. I always kind of tap them on the table and make sure everything's going to stay on there. And this one, I started a little bit on it so you could see what we're going to be doing. I um, took some jute twine. Don't know where I got it from, probably a craft store. Sometimes farm stores have jute twine that's a little bit thicker and a little bit stronger. Depends on what you want to use it for, so you might check that out. And so I just started here and glued. I also glued another leaf on there. I thought that kind of balanced it out a little more. So we're going to finish gluing with the hot glue this jute twine. I'll try to do it so you can see it. I'm just going to put a little bead right along the edge. And I don't do too much at one time because I want to try to get it to where I see the jute, but not the glue. And sometimes we get glue like that too much. So I just take my brush and then I push it down with my fingers without getting hot glue on my fingers. <laughs> we don't want to do that. I just kind of tuck that in there and uh, you can't see all of it but from the side you can see it so now this piece is too long which I knew it was going to be 
I cut it long on purpose so once I get my one side there I can hold this down to it and get my scissors and know exactly where to cut and hopefully I cut it in the right spot appears to be pretty close I'm going to use my glue gun again and get just a little bead here bring that around that corner and over to the other piece got a little bit on there too much that I don't need so I'm going to use my brush again the end of my brush not the brush part but the very end of the handle right there it's the solid part and what I did is I made a bow that I think I want to put down here so I'll show you how to make a simple bow I just made a single bow um, I pull out about a foot I'm just guessing a little more than a foot I like to have too much rather than not enough so what I do is I find the middle approximately the middle and I loop it make one loop this way wrap it around and then bring the other loop through that okay it's lopsided so you just got to work with it a little bit you pull that a little it's too big this one would be too big so I make it a little smaller and you just keep playing with it until you get the size that you want like that and what you can do once you get it the size you want take a little bit of glue hot glue put it right here on the the back on the knot and it will hold it so it doesn't come loose so what I'm going to do is hold it in the front put a big glob of do glue <laughs> in the back and I'm going to glue it right there where I want it right in the middle and don't worry about these ends yet we're going to cut them shorter and then kind of glue them down once that other gets dry so here I am with two first projects that we made the small ones these are the magnets this one here is the canvas and it was actually a little canvas I'll show you the back and we put two magnets on it I put them pretty strong magnets so they would hold and not fall off and I did go ahead and leave the jute hanger on it so if you want to hang it on the wall you can hang it on the wall but that's our first one and then this one was just a piece of cardboard and we made our own little magnet out of it using natural items and jute and painted it so it looked like distressed wood and put a large magnet on the back and that's on my fridge <laughs>